What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a minute since I posted. I know this, I know this. Man, you don't believe the year that I have. I was going on vacations. I was going to Europe, Japan, all these places, man. Not the cap. <laughs> To be honest, I was really just doing this. A lot of this. And a lot of this. What? And to be completely honest with you guys, I did miss you guys a lot. And a long year. Um, I know I haven't posted in about like, it says like eight months, but it feels longer than that. Um, you know, just taking a little break. Uh, hopefully I can get back into it. I'm not gonna say I will, but I'm trying you guys, I really want to. I, I just recently hit 10K. Made me want to start, you know, posting more. Um, but with the help of you guys and support of you guys, I know I can do it. Um, I thank you guys a lot for, you know, sticking with me, you guys. It really means a lot to me. Um, 10,000 people actually like me. So, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> I haven't spoken to you guys since like, um, well, it's been, I think, since like March, April, maybe. Uh, I hope you guys had a great holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Um, I'm going to say this at the end of the video to remind you guys, too, as well. Uh, just comment down low to how the holidays went for you guys. Um, so, yeah, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Doing a mid-fade on my boy. So, I'm going to take you guys to the video. So, hope you guys have a good one. Stay tuned, guys. YouTube it's your boy I'm back <laughs> uh, so we are doing the mid low or mid drop or mid fade I like dropping my mid fades low at the back um, underneath the occipital bone so that way it gives it kind of like a, um, a drop fade look um, I do it because I like keeping shapes in my haircuts uh, I've said that in previous videos uh, doing I, I feel like myself doing the shape and shaping it up based on the client's hair and head or not hair head his head uh, shape it makes uh, the haircut look even more better um, you guys don't have to do that but this is this is personal preference for myself so make sure that you have the the ball line straight and um, make sure you have you get every single hair <laughs> On this next step, we're going to be taking down the hair with a number 5 guard. Um, as you guys can see, I am using the Stylecraft. I think the Stylecraft Pro. I'm not too sure, but they're made. They're Stylecraft's clippers. They're just the same as uh, master, not Masters, um, Seniors or Magic Clip. I feel like myself, I feel like they're a little bit better. If you guys don't have any, you guys can just try to pick it up. Just go to Stylecraft. Um, the link would be on the bottom right, right here. Uh, but I'm doing a five against the grain. Uh, make sure that you guys always comb through the hair, comb it back down, and then and then cut, comb back down, then cut, comb back down, and cut. Um, so that way it just gets all the hair, all the hair that you cut off of the head, and also it just makes sure that the, the hair is laid down straight. So that way it, cut, it makes a better cut. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering, you guys. <laughs> but uh, I do eventually close it up halfway or maybe all the way. Um, all the way closed just means that it just gets it basically all the hair that can possibly get with that guard so um number five y'all guideline open with my stylecraft pro clippers um these cut like butter as you guys can see they they kind of feel like seniors and magic clips but in my i feel like they're a little bit better they use um wall guards and everything so and they also come with uh some uh, some magnetic guards so if you guys could take a look at their instagram page i did put it previously uh, about like 
25 seconds ago maybe 30 seconds ago <laughs> on the bottom right corner yeah just take a look at them and i do appreciate them sending me stuff um i do i like getting their their clippers and try them out and everything so yeah take a look if you guys can um but back to the haircut we just make sure that the 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 guy line is straight and um so that way your blend can be straight as well so we're going to be getting into um closing out the lever in a bit right here so what i like doing is i close it at first just to see what the guy line um what the the clipper is going to do to that guy line then i open it up some more and then i play with the levers a lot um i do close halfway and then open close halfway and open so you know not to go past that that previous you know open open lever don't go past that line anything above an open lever so um so just close it up a little bit use the corners of your blade um that is very important when you're doing a fade or taper because you want to be more precise think of it as like a pencil you know um you have one little area to draw just like as a clipper you just have that little area of your clipper um, I'm not using the full blade. I mean, I'm not using the, the corners of it. Actually, I am right here. It just doesn't look like that because, I mean, it, I'm going so fast. But make sure you do use the corners, you guys. this next step we're gonna be using a number one guard and we're gonna make the guy line half an inch about an inch about an, half an inch actually about an inch yeah about an inch you guys um, make sure that the guy line is straight make sure when you get to that top part of, of, of the of the end of the guy line you want to flick out you don't want to make a hard line because it's gonna be really hard to take out because I'm eventually gonna go in with my clipper over comb technique and take that sucker right out so make sure that when you get to the top of your your guideline point you just flick right out you guys just flick out that's that's important okay guys <laughs> So when it comes to the clipper over comb technique, you want to make sure that the the comb is straight up at an angle and you just boom. You see the hairs that are sticking up? That's the ones you want to cut. So what I like to do is I do that and I look at the front of the head and to see what like how it, the shape is and I just go from there. Um, I'm basically kind of like using this as like a guard. Um, I mean, this is basically what guards do. They, they cut the hair based off measurements and everything. So this is right here. I'm just freestyling. So I'm going straight up with it and I'm just clipping all the hair that I see that's poking out of the comb. Um, at first, it does. It is a little bit tricky to do clipper over comb. But once you get the hang of it, it is the best thing you could possibly do. It, it speeds up your haircuts and it just makes everything so much better. OK, guys, so um, now that we're done with that, we are going to be going out and taking that guideline that we made with the number one we're gonna be using the zero guard so we have the lever all the way open using the corner of the blade uh and then we're just gonna be brushing it down every every time you you, you want to brush you want to brush like every three to four to five uh swipes i, I don't do that sometimes but i try to <laughs> so use your number one guard num number zero guard sorry number zero number zero number zero <laughs> number zero and you just Use the corners, open, then close it, and then halfway you want to just play with it a lot. Play with it, play with it, and to see what what lever takes out which dark spot. That's how I see it. Cause not every lever is gonna take out something. You know, it's not gonna take out the spot that it's supposed to. So you gotta improvise, you guys. So just open it up, then close it halfway. Just play with it a lot. And if you see any little dark spots, hit it uh, with the uh, the corner of the blade and just this flick out you guys this make sure you use a lot of flick out methods so we are going to the lineup part um i comb the hair down and i'm using a one and a half 
and I'm just taking off the hair that is hanging over. Um, this is very important. Try to be careful when it comes to this. You, I'm just flicking up. I'm not going in. I'm flicking up, flicking up, flicking up. Make sure you just go straight up, straight up. So that way you don't initially make any light spots possible. I'm just flicking out, you guys, just flicking up. So that way the hair is shorter and it's easier for me to line up. Um, so to this lineup part, we're going to be starting from the middle and then make them away from side to side. I like doing it like that because that way you get that that base of where you want your your hairline to be so you just start off that middle and then make sure that the sides match um, you guys don't have to do that everybody has their own preference of how they want to do their lineups um, I do it that way because I've been doing that since I started cutting hair um, it is easier I actually I've tried a lot of different like methods of lining up and this was the best for me I mean I'm not saying it's the best for you guys but just try try this out and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work but it doesn't hurt to try so um you can try this out i am using my um my baby's gold fx liners i don't know if they're called fx's pretty sure they are if not i'm wrong um these are my hitters i love these ones a lot these are probably like one of my favorite trimmers to use i do have cordless t outliners but unfortunately they're corded and they get in the way so i use these instead some enhancements in my client's hair i don't really need to but i just did it for the video so it makes everything pop out so you want to make sure that your your hairline is straight as possible so that way when you do add the enhancements it's just going to be so much easier for you you don't want to keep making a new line and try to make sure everything's all straight with the paint and everything then just yes it's a hassle to do and it happens to everybody but just try not to do that um I'm using uh, Kiss Express. I think that's what the paint is called. I'm using my airbrush machine to add the enhancements. And it just makes everything better and it just makes everything more pop. Um, some people don't like it, which I understand. You know, it's not for everybody, but um, I like doing it for my videos to make sure that the hairline pops out so much more. So um, yeah, just make sure that it is straight and everything is straight and we should be straight. <laughs> is about over um i want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me with this journey of my youtube um i recently hit 10k so that kind of gave me motivation to keep uploading more because i'm already there i just got to keep going you guys i'd be lazy i know i know it it's a sickness <laughs> to be lazy uh, it's, it's horrible um but thank you guys so much for sticking with me and whoever's watching this you guys are real all right so just uh, bear with me with the videos. Uh, I try to come out as, as soon as I can. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had a good holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. If you guys are still here, just let me know how everything went. I, I'm, I'm excited to know you guys. So uh, my Instagram will be at the end of the video. Please don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. This is Arlen. I'm out. Take it easy, you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.